to demonstrate how to install the Manta Rail Guard products onto a Picatinny 4 end. What we have in front of us here, obviously, a Picatinny 4 end M4 carbine length rail, uh, as well as our Manta Rail VLP, which is our very low profile panel, and our VLP CC, which is our very low profile cross clip panel. The VLP CC allows you to run wires perpendicular as well as parallel to the barrel, while the VLP is just a standard rail cover to protect uh, rails, but it also uh, it helps with the handling of the weapon. It gives you a, an incredible tactile feel. Uh, we have a rubberized polymer compound that resists chemicals and abrasion and extreme temperatures, whether it be hot or cold. The way that you install any of this product is, uh, if you note at the bottom of our rail guards here, you can see uh, a couple little black marks. And what those black marks are, are stainless steel clips that are chemically and mechanically bonded within the polymer surface. This allows us to keep uh, positive rigid feel uh, to the rail guard and allows it to, to lock and positively engage the rail but it also allows the flexibility of our products to conform and contort uh, in making for ease of installation. Also the stainless steel skeleton was able to allow us to use the specialized polymer uh, to resist any of the, the heat that transfers through to your hand. Uh, the stainless steel clips can also be collapsed if you note um, you can collapse these clips all the way down the length of the rail guard. And what happens when you go to collapse them, it just makes it snap on that much tighter to the rail. It's not necessary, but depending on how tight you want it to bite onto the rail, you can go ahead and collapse your clips. They can also be expanded. Uh, this allows to take up for any type of rail tolerance that you may have, depending on rail manufacturer, even though there are standards out there, you still do get some varying tolerance. What you do to install is, uh, if you know if there's two sets of I guess you would call it uh, locating tabs that allow you to position it in conjunction with a slot that's on the rail and just lock it right onto the rail and you just snap it down for ease of installation. Now with the six clips that are located in here, if you ever did grab a corner of a rail and it lifted, which is hard to do anyhow, this allows six different failure points within the rail. So even if you, two clips got grabbed, your rail guard won't fall off and you simply just press it right back down into place. To remove the rail you just grab the bottom and rock it off. Same thing with our VLP CCs. We do recommend that you collapse these just because of the wire routing. You get a little bit of an arch. It gives you uh, a, a little bit uh, a looser fit. So if you tighten up your clips and then you go ahead and, and snap it onto the rail, it just makes for a, a tighter installation for you. Any of our rail guard products can be cut to length. Um, you'll see at the bottom of the panels. There are different areas here that are denoted for cut marks and what we recommend using is uh, a razor type of knife or blade or cutter and you can just simply make those cuts depending on how you want uh, that rail guard to fill uh, a specific section of your rail.